More on those stories in just a moment. First, we're following breaking news live at 6. Police searching for a 33-year-old Palm Springs man who they say kidnapped his ex-girlfriend at gunpoint this morning. News Channel 3's Jake Gracia live tonight at the Palm Springs Police Department with breaking developments on this story we've been following all day. Jake. John, good evening. And that alleged kidnapping ending in a crash in Palm Desert. We have now learned that the woman who was taken along for that ride reportedly sustained minor injuries, though not enough for her to be taken to the hospital. And that suspect that police tonight are calling armed and dangerous remains on the run at this hour. According to police, 33-year-old Manuel Vasque, uh, Valadez kidnapped his ex-girlfriend at gunpoint earlier this morning, then drove her around the Coachella Valley, getting as far east police say as Washington Street. Around, around 11 this morning, the Sheriff's Department discovered the scene of the car crash near Costco at Dinah Shore Drive in Palm Desert. What police say is Valadez's car stuck up in the center median, broken down where the woman was able to escape and where that suspect reportedly took off from. Police say there was some type of struggle between the two people in the car, and that's what led to the crash. Over the course of that ride through the valley, Valadez reportedly pointed a gun out the window and fired a single shot. Police say he was also making threats to that ex-girlfriend. This is a very targeted, very specific incident, right? Um, this is... Uh, this isn't somebody that we're worried about carjacking somebody else or potentially harming. If you see somebody that matches the description that we provided, we did provide that photo, uh, don't, certainly don't approach the individual uh, because we do believe that he's armed. But we are asking if you see him, call 911. Now, Valadez was arrested about two weeks ago in Palm Springs on suspicion of domestic abuse and inflicting injury. He was then booked into jail and the same day posted bond on his $50,000 bail and was released. Charges for that case have not yet been filed and his previous court date was set for January. But again, Valadez at this hour remains on the run. The Palm Springs Police Department, uh, in coordination with the Sheriff's Department, continue their search tonight for that armed and dangerous man. We're live in Palm Springs tonight. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.